This is the final version of the 64 by 32 RGB LED display. It's got the ESP8266 uh, barrel jack, 2mm, power supply, micro USB, micro USB interface, chip and associated parts. It's got a power LED and communication LEDs. Uh, this latest revision has a new connector which um, plugs on to the display a lot easier than what I had before. So what you do is you just plug it on the center one and then push on the edge ones. It also has a hole right above the barrel jack if you want to match it to your wall. And then just go and power supply. This is the Tindy logo, which is pretty bright. So, smoked acrylic tends to take it down a little bit, make it a little more, make it look a little better. A few of these available if you're interested. This is the Star Wars. animation. The animations are just one image, uh, another image, and another image, and another image. I think with 64 by 32 resolution you can get um, eight or nine frames. This is a little fireworks animation. And the last one is the uh, there we go. Logo. So the full kit comes with the uh, display, the driver board, and the power supply. So you just need a micro USB and the Arduino IDE to put your sketch into it. Um, the bare board is available if you happen to have your own display and power supply. But if you'd like to make your own, the um, design files, um, book bill materials, um, Gerber's, and Schematic are all available for free. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to create your own custom image, the only software you need to download is the Arduino IDE. The other two tools needed are online based one, Create Sprite, set the resolution to 64 by 32. Here you can draw your own custom image, or you can open one up that you've um, already downloaded. I do browse image, select image. I can pick this one, change the resolution to 32 by 32. And if you want to put it on your 64 by 32 display, you just resize the page. And if it push over to the side, there are tools you can grab it, push it over, and then color in the two sides. And now it's 64 by 32. When you're done that, you can export to a PNG. The next step is to use this software. You use the image converter, choose your file, and it creates this .c file. So if I open that up, see it's a big giant array. So just take that array, copy it, and Brian Lowe made a great sketch called Mario, which you might have seen before. If you open that up and take his Mario image and cut that out and just replace it with your own, you should be good to go. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to create your own custom animation, the steps are very similar. 
create sprite. Make sure your size is 64 by 32. This is a GIF animation that I grabbed earlier. Just like that. In your software tool, you want to import browse the image, import that animation, change that to I'm going to keep that 32 by 32. The difference here is um, on the uh, left, there are all the different uh, frames. So in the ESP8266, I think I've had pretty good luck getting up to 8 frames. So what you want to do here is just go and delete the ones, maybe every second one, get your frames down to 8, and check out your preview in this window over here. And then click on the first one, and then do an export PNG, and generate that code, drop it in to your sketch, and the next one, and the next one. Brian's written some um, great example code. One is the uh, banana dance. If you look at that one, you'll see there's one after another after another. And at the bottom, it draws each frame with a slight um, delay in between each one. Thanks for watching.